We cordially welcome you to this audio summary. Please remember to demonstrate your support by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, enabling us to provide you with more content. Feel free to leave comments suggesting books for which you'd appreciate hearing summaries. Hatchet by Gary Paulson Introduction and Setting In the vast expanse of literary landscapes, where stories bloom like flowers in a verdant meadow, there emerges a tale of remarkable fortitude and untamed wilderness. Hatchet, penned by the deft hand of Gary Paulson, ushers us into a world where the raw forces of nature intertwine with the indomitable spirit of a young protagonist named Brian Robeson. Our journey commences as Brian, a tender 13-year-old soul, embarks upon an arduous odyssey to reunite with his father in the remote reaches of the Canadian oil fields. Little does he know that the fickle hands of fate hold a different destiny in store for him. As the whir of propellers dances in harmony with the azure heavens, the pilot of the small aircraft succumbs to an insidious heart attack, plunging Brian into a swirling abyss of uncertainty. With a thunderous roar and a violent descent, the aircraft crashes, birthing a cataclysmic cacophony amidst the solitude of the untamed wilderness. Far from the comforting embrace of civilization, Brian finds himself marooned, severed from the tendrils of human society. Alone, bereft of companionship, and armed with naught but a solitary hatchet, his sole possession, the stage is set for a symphony of survival against an unforgiving backdrop. As the curtain rises on this tragic tableau, Brian is confronted with an inescapable reality, he must confront the untamed elements of the natural world. The specter of survival looms ominously, casting a formidable shadow upon his tender countenance. Hunger gnaws at his stomach like a relentless beast, the icy tendrils of the wilderness bite at his exposed skin, and the haunting cries of predators echo in his ears. And so begins his relentless struggle, as he delves into the secrets of nature, seeking sustenance amidst the verdant tapestry of the wilderness. He discovers the secrets hidden within the earth, foraging for wild berries and edible plants to assuage the gnawing hunger that threatens to consume him. With every passing day, his hands become more skilled, his senses more attuned to the delicate nuances of survival. Yet, the challenges he faces are not merely of the physical realm. The wilderness, with its vast expanse and oppressive solitude, becomes a crucible for the forging of his inner self. In the depths of isolation, he grapples with the raw emotions that surge through his veins. Loneliness becomes his constant companion, a relentless shadow that tugs at the corners of his fragile psyche. Fear, a palpable presence, clings to his being like a shroud, threatening to extinguish the flickering flame of hope within his heart. But Brian, amidst the tempest of emotions that buffet his soul, discovers a wellspring of resilience buried deep within. It is through this internal alchemy that he transforms, adapting to his circumstances with a tenacity that belies his tender years. With every trial and tribulation, he inches closer to the realization that survival is not merely a battle against the elements, but a voyage of self-discovery and personal growth. In this crucible of survival, Brian uncovers hidden reserves of strength and resourcefulness. With his trusty hatchet as his sole companion, he learns to fashion a rudimentary shelter, a sanctuary amidst the wilderness. He masters the art of fishing, casting his line into the crystal-clear streams, coaxing sustenance from the depths of nature's bounty. Each success, each small victory, becomes a testament to his indomitable spirit, stoking the flames of resilience within his chest. Yet, beyond the mere mechanics of survival, Brian develops a profound connection with the natural world. As the days stretch into weeks and months, he becomes an unwitting witness to the delicate choreography of the wilderness. He observes the ebb and flow of life around him, the dance of predators and prey, and the symphony of sounds that weave through the tapestry of the forest. In this symbiotic relationship with nature, he discovers solace, a respite from the cacophony of his own thoughts. With every sunrise that bathes the landscape in a golden hue, Brian finds solace in the harmonious rhythm of nature. 
He learns to listen to the murmurs of the wind as it whispers secrets through the trees, to decipher the myriad scents that hang in the air, and to read the signs etched upon the earth. The wilderness becomes his silent mentor, teaching him the art of survival and opening the doors of his perception to the wonders of the natural world. As our protagonist navigates this treacherous labyrinth, he undergoes a profound metamorphosis. From the crucible of hardship and solitude emerges a young man of unwavering resolve, bearing the scars of survival as badges of honor upon his soul. Brian's journey becomes a testament to the strength of the human spirit, a testament that resonates far beyond the confines of the written page. In the depths of the wilderness, Brian learns that survival is not merely a physical feat, but a battle fought on the landscape of the mind and spirit. It is a transformative voyage that strips away the layers of artifice, revealing the true essence that lies dormant within each individual. It is a testament to the unfathomable depths of human resilience, reminding us that even in the face of the harshest trials, the human spirit can emerge unbroken. And so, dear reader, let us embark upon this remarkable odyssey alongside Brian Robeson. Let us traverse the untamed wilderness, witness his trials and triumphs, and discover the profound lessons hidden within the pages of Hatchet. For in the heart of this timeless tale, we find not only a harrowing adventure but a profound exploration of the human spirit, reminding us that even in the darkest of nights, the spark of hope can ignite a flame that will guide us home. Survival Challenges In the crucible of the wild, where every breath hangs in delicate balance, Brian Robeson finds himself pitted against the formidable challenges of survival. The unforgiving wilderness, an untamed symphony of beauty and danger, becomes his battleground as he strives to conquer the primal forces that seek to extinguish his flame. Hunger, that relentless beast, claws at his insides, a constant reminder of his mortal vulnerability. The pangs of an empty stomach become a cacophony that reverberates through his being, urging him onward in his quest for sustenance. In the depths of his desperation, Brian becomes an unwitting student of the wilderness, seeking to decipher its cryptic language of abundance and scarcity. With the tenacity of a seasoned hunter, he learns to navigate the intricate web of life that pulses through the forest. He observes the tracks left behind by creatures both great and small, deciphering their messages written upon the canvas of the earth. He studies the habits of elusive prey, understanding their patterns and vulnerabilities. Armed with newfound knowledge, he sets traps and snares, seeking to tip the scales of survival in his favor. And when fortune smiles upon him, when the tender tendrils of fate intertwine with his endeavors, he rejoices in the spoils of his victory. A feast, meager by conventional standards, becomes a banquet of triumph in the wilderness. The taste of sustenance, however meager, becomes a symphony upon his tongue, an affirmation that he has defied the odds and claimed a small victory in the face of adversity. But the wilderness, with its capricious temperament, is not one to surrender easily. It tests Brian's resolve at every turn, pushing him to his limits and beyond. The icy tendrils of winter bite at his exposed flesh, threatening to sap his strength and resolve. The ceaseless rainfall, an unrelenting torrent, seeks to drown his spirit and extinguish the spark within him. And through it all, Brian stands steadfast, weathering the storm with an unwavering determination. Shelter, that fragile sanctuary, becomes his bastion against the elements. With naught but his hands and the resources bestowed by the wilderness, he fashions a refuge amidst the chaos. The hewn branches and woven foliage become his armor, shielding him from the howling winds and pelting rain. In the quiet solitude of his makeshift abode, Brian finds solace, a sanctuary where he can rest his weary body and gather strength for the trials that lie ahead. But the wilderness, in all its majesty, harbors dangers that extend beyond the realm of the physical. The predators that prowl its depths, their eyes gleaming with primal instinct, become a constant reminder of Brian's mortality. He learns to tread softly, to become one with the rhythm of the forest, avoiding the gaze of creatures that view him as both intruder and potential prey. Fear, that intangible specter, 
coils around his heart, threatening to snuff out the flickering flame of courage within him. It whispers in his ear, weaving tales of his fragility and the vastness of the wilderness that surrounds him. But Brian, in a testament to his unyielding spirit, refuses to succumb to its seductive whispers. He summons the reservoirs of bravery that lie within him, mustering the strength to face his fears head-on. In the depths of solitude, Brian discovers a resilience that resides deep within the recesses of his being. He learns that survival is not merely a battle fought with brute strength, but a dance of intellect and adaptability. The wilderness becomes his teacher, imparting lessons that transcend the limitations of the physical realm. He learns to read the signs etched upon the earth, to navigate by the stars that twinkle in the midnight sky, and to harness the power of fire to ward off the encroaching darkness. And so, amidst the trials and tribulations of survival, Brian Robeson emerges as a testament to the unyielding spirit of the human will. Through hunger, thirst, cold, and fear, he discovers reservoirs of strength that he never knew existed. The wilderness, with all its perils and wonders, becomes the crucible that forges his character, reshaping him into a beacon of resilience amidst the vast expanse of the untamed wild. In the Symphony of Survival, Brian's journey stands as a testament to the remarkable potential that resides within each of us. It reminds us that even when faced with insurmountable odds, the human spirit possesses an indomitable strength, capable of defying the limits of our perceived capabilities. And as we traverse the depths of Hatchet, we are compelled to reflect upon our own resilience and to ponder the depths of our own untapped potential. Emotional Struggles In the crucible of the wild, where the boundaries of solitude stretch as far as the eye can see, Brian Robeson grapples not only with the physical challenges of survival but also with the turbulent currents of his own emotions. Alone, with only his thoughts as companions, he is thrust into a profound inner struggle that tests the very fabric of his being. Loneliness, that insidious specter, clings to him like a shroud, permeating the very essence of his existence. The absence of human contact, the absence of familiar voices and comforting embraces, becomes an ache that gnaws at the core of his soul. The vast expanse of the wilderness magnifies this ache, amplifying the silence that envelopes him, punctuating his solitude with each passing moment. Yet, within the depths of his isolation, Brian is forced to confront the depths of his own self. Stripped of the distractions and noise of the modern world, he grapples with the echoes of his own thoughts, with the intricate labyrinth of his own emotions. Fear, doubt, and despair become formidable adversaries, lurking in the recesses of his mind, threatening to erode his resolve. The specter of fear, that intangible force that grips the heart and stifles the spirit, weaves its insidious tapestry within Brian's consciousness. Fear whispers in his ear, its tendrils seeping into his thoughts, casting doubts upon his abilities and amplifying the dangers that lurk in every shadow. Yet, Brian refuses to succumb to its paralyzing grip. With each passing day, he learns to confront fear head-on, to acknowledge its presence, and to forge ahead despite its icy embrace. Doubt, that constant companion of uncertainty, weaves its threads through Brian's thoughts, sowing seeds of hesitation and self-questioning. The weight of his predicament, the enormity of his isolation, threatens to crush his spirit beneath its burdensome weight. But amidst the labyrinth of doubt, Brian discovers a wellspring of inner strength, a resilience that blossoms within the depths of his soul. He learns to trust in his instincts, to rely on his own resourcefulness, and to cast aside the shackles of self-doubt that threaten to bind him. Despair, that suffocating fog that rolls in on the coattails of loneliness, attempts to smother the flame of hope within Brian's heart. It whispers tales of hopelessness, of endless days stretching into eternity, and of a future devoid of salvation. Yet, in the face of despair's relentless assault, Brian finds solace in the simplest of moments. The caress of a gentle breeze against his cheek, the symphony of birdsong that fills the air, and the fiery hues of a sunset painting the horizon become embers of hope that ignite within his being. 
In the depths of his emotional turmoil, Brian discovers a remarkable resilience, an inner strength that defies the desolation of his surroundings. He learns to confront his emotions head-on, to acknowledge their existence without allowing them to dictate his path. With each passing day, his emotional landscape transforms, as he learns to navigate the treacherous currents within himself with grace and determination. And through this profound inner struggle, Brian emerges as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. He exemplifies the capacity to persevere in the face of overwhelming odds, to transcend the limitations of circumstance, and to find strength even in the darkest of moments. His journey reminds us that within the depths of solitude, within the labyrinth of our own thoughts and emotions, lies the potential for profound self-discovery and growth. As we navigate the intricate contours of Hatchet, we are compelled to reflect upon our own emotional struggles and the boundless resilience that resides within each of us. Brian's journey serves as a beacon of inspiration, urging us to confront our fears, embrace our doubts, and find solace amidst the storms that rage within. For it is in these depths that we discover the transformative power of the human spirit and the unfathomable depths of our own inner strength. Self-Discovery and Resilience Within the unforgiving embrace of the wilderness, where every step is a testament to survival, Brian Robeson embarks on a profound journey of self-discovery. Stripped of the trappings of modern civilization, he is forced to confront not only the external challenges of the wild but also the intricacies of his own identity and the resilience that resides within him. In the crucible of solitude, Brian peels away the layers of societal expectations, shedding the veneer of his former self. The boundaries of his existence expand, reaching far beyond the limitations imposed by his age and circumstances. The wilderness becomes his canvas, and he, the artist of his own transformation. As he grapples with the immense task of survival, Brian discovers latent talents and capabilities that lie dormant within him. He taps into the wellspring of resourcefulness, ingenuity, and adaptability that dwells within the recesses of his being. With each challenge he faces, he uncovers a reservoir of strength that propels him forward, defying the constraints of his youth. Through trial and error, Brian hones his skills, developing an acute intuition and a keen sense of observation. He learns to read the nuances of the wilderness, deciphering the language of the wind, the trees, and the creatures that inhabit this untamed realm. In the process, he uncovers a deep connection with nature, a symbiotic relationship in which he becomes attuned to the rhythms and cycles that govern life itself. This newfound intimacy with the natural world becomes a catalyst for profound self-reflection. As he observes the delicate balance of the ecosystem, Brian recognizes his place within the grand tapestry of existence. He becomes acutely aware of the interconnectedness of all living things, realizing that his actions have consequences that ripple through the fabric of life. Amidst the solitude, Brian grapples with questions of purpose and meaning. What does it truly mean to survive? Is mere existence enough, or is there a deeper purpose that propels him forward? As he forges ahead, he discovers that survival is not a solitary endeavor but a testament to the resilience and tenacity of the human spirit. It is a testament to the will to overcome adversity, to find meaning in the face of hardship, and to forge a path that aligns with one's innermost values. In the depths of the wilderness, Brian is both student and sage. He learns from the trials and tribulations that beset him, gleaning wisdom from each hardship. The hatchet, his steadfast companion, becomes a metaphorical tool not only for survival but also for self-transformation. It represents his ability to shape his own destiny, to carve a path through the thicket of challenges that lay before him. As days turn into weeks, and weeks into months, Brian bears witness to the cyclic nature of life. He witnesses the birth of new life and the inevitability of death. He finds solace in the impermanence of the world, understanding that change is the only constant. This realization liberates him from the shackles of his past, allowing him to embrace the present moment and to chart a course towards the future with newfound clarity. Through his trials, Brian becomes a beacon of resilience, 
illuminating the human capacity to endure and to rise above adversity. His journey serves as a testament to the extraordinary depths of strength that lie within each of us, waiting to be unearthed when faced with the harshest of circumstances. And as we journey alongside Brian through the pages of Hatchet, we are invited to reflect upon our own capacity for resilience and self-discovery. We are challenged to embrace the wilderness within ourselves, to confront our own fears and doubts, and to tap into the wellspring of strength that resides in the depths of our own being. For it is through this transformative journey that we, too, can emerge as the architects of our own destinies, forging a path of resilience, self-discovery, and profound inner growth. The Transcendence of the Human Spirit In the realm of the wild, where the boundaries of human existence merge with the untamed forces of nature, Brian Robeson experiences a profound transcendence of the human spirit. Through the crucible of survival, he embarks on a journey that transcends the physical realm, delving deep into the realms of resilience, self-discovery, and the interconnectedness of all life. In the face of isolation and adversity, Brian's spirit emerges as a resilient force, unyielding in the face of the wilderness' relentless onslaught. He taps into a wellspring of courage, determination, and unwavering resolve that serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. With each passing trial, he finds strength in the knowledge that the human spirit possesses an innate capacity to rise above the most formidable challenges. The wilderness becomes Brian's crucible of transformation, forging him into a creature of remarkable adaptability. As he navigates the intricate dance of survival, he transcends the boundaries of his former self, shedding the constraints of societal expectations and embracing a deeper connection with the natural world. In this process, he discovers that the true essence of survival lies not in mere physical existence, but in the symbiotic relationship between human and nature, where harmony and respect intertwine. Through the trials and tribulations he faces, Brian delves into the depths of his own psyche, unearthing hidden reservoirs of resilience and self-discovery. The solitude that envelopes him becomes a canvas upon which he paints the portrait of his own identity, free from the external influences that once shaped his perception of self. He confronts his fears, embraces his vulnerabilities, and emerges with a profound understanding of the power that lies within him. In the depths of the wilderness, Brian experiences a profound awakening to the interconnectedness of all life forms. He becomes intimately attuned to the rhythms and cycles of nature, recognizing that his survival is intricately linked to the delicate balance of the ecosystem. This realization instills within him a deep reverence for the natural world, and he learns to coexist with the creatures and elements that surround him, fostering a sense of harmony and stewardship. As Brian's journey unfolds, he uncovers the transformative power of resilience not only within himself but also in his relationships with others. The encounters he has with animals and the unexpected arrival of a lone visitor in the wilderness remind him of the profound impact that human connection can have in the face of isolation. Through these interactions, he discovers that the human spirit can transcend the boundaries of solitude and find solace in the bonds we forge with one another. In the tapestry of Hatchet, Brian's transcendence serves as a metaphor for the resilience and potential inherent in the human spirit. It is a reminder that, even in the face of the most arduous challenges, we possess an innate capacity to rise above adversity, to adapt, and to find strength in the depths of our being. Through his journey, we are invited to contemplate our own potential for growth, to recognize the interconnectedness of all life, and to cultivate a deep respect for the natural world that sustains us. In the end, Brian's odyssey through the wilderness becomes a profound testament to the enduring power of the human spirit. It is a testament to the resilience that lies within each of us, waiting to be awakened when faced with the trials of life. Through his story, we are reminded that our capacity for transcendence is boundless, and that even in the face of the harshest circumstances, the human spirit can soar above the confines of our perceived limitations, embracing the fullness of our existence. The Lessons of Survival Within the pages of Hatchet, 
Gary Paulson weaves a tapestry of profound lessons that extend far beyond the realm of survival in the wilderness. Through the trials and tribulations faced by Brian Robeson, we are invited to contemplate the deeper truths of human existence and the transformative power of resilience. At its core, Hatchet is a testament to the indomitable will of the human spirit. Brian's journey exemplifies the capacity for resilience that resides within us all. It reminds us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, we possess an inner strength that can propel us forward, defying the limitations that threaten to hold us back. One of the fundamental lessons that Hatchet imparts is the significance of adaptability. In the face of adversity, Brian learns to shed the confines of his former self and embrace the fluidity of change. He discovers that the ability to adapt is not only essential for survival but also for navigating the complexities of life itself. Through his journey, we are reminded of the importance of being open to new experiences, willing to learn, and flexible enough to adjust our perspectives and strategies as circumstances evolve. Another profound lesson lies in the power of self-reliance. As Brian grapples with the challenges of the wild, he discovers that his own resourcefulness and ingenuity are his most valuable assets. The hatchet, a seemingly ordinary tool, becomes a symbol of empowerment as he learns to wield it with skill and precision. This serves as a metaphor for the innate capabilities that lie within each of us. Hatchet urges us to trust in our own abilities, to embrace our inner strengths, and to cultivate self-reliance as a foundation for resilience. Within the depths of survival, Brian also confronts the delicate balance between risk and caution. He learns that every decision carries consequences, and that a momentary lapse in judgment can have far-reaching effects. Through his experiences, we are reminded of the importance of thoughtful deliberation, of weighing the potential risks against the potential rewards, and of finding a harmonious equilibrium between calculated action and prudent caution. Connected to the notion of risk is the profound lesson of perseverance. Brian's journey through the wilderness is fraught with setbacks, challenges, and moments of despair. Yet, he never relinquishes his resolve. He perseveres, even when the odds seem insurmountable, drawing upon his inner reserves of strength to forge ahead. Hatchet teaches us that the path to success is often paved with setbacks and failures, but it is through perseverance that we can overcome these obstacles and achieve our goals. In addition to these lessons, Hatchet offers insights into the transformative power of solitude. Brian's isolation in the wild forces him to confront his own thoughts, fears, and desires. He is stripped of the distractions of the modern world, allowing him to delve deep into his own consciousness and discover the truths that lie within. This solitude becomes a crucible for self-reflection, introspection, and personal growth. It reminds us of the importance of carving out moments of solitude in our own lives, to disconnect from the noise of the external world and connect with the depths of our own being. Moreover, Hatchet emphasizes the interdependence of humanity and the natural world. Brian's journey underscores the interconnectedness of all life forms and the importance of our role as stewards of the environment. Through his experiences, we are reminded of the fragility of ecosystems and the profound impact of our actions on the delicate balance of nature. The story serves as a call to action, urging us to cultivate a deep reverence for the earth and to adopt sustainable practices that honor our interconnectedness with the natural world. Ultimately, Hatchet is not merely a tale of survival but a rich tapestry of wisdom and profound insights. It invites us to contemplate our own capacity for resilience, adaptability, self-reliance, perseverance, and introspection. Through Brian's journey, we are reminded of the transformative power of survival, the lessons that can be gleaned from the depths of hardship, and the boundless potential that resides within each of us. As we navigate the wilderness of our own lives, Hatchet serves as a guiding light, illuminating the path towards self-discovery, growth, and the enduring strength of the human spirit. The Essence of Nature In Hatchet, Gary Paulson paints a vivid portrait of the wilderness, 
revealing its profound essence and the intrinsic connection between humanity and the natural world. Through the eyes of Brian Robeson, we are transported to a realm where the untamed forces of nature reign supreme, and where the beauty and harshness of the wild converge in a symphony of life. The wilderness becomes a character in its own right, a living, breathing entity that shapes and molds Brian's journey. It is a realm that demands respect, humility, and a deep understanding of its intricacies. As Brian navigates its vast expanse, he becomes attuned to its rhythms and patterns, learning to read the subtle whispers of the wind, the ebb and flow of the seasons, and the language of the creatures that inhabit this untamed realm. Through his experiences, Brian develops a profound reverence for nature's intricate tapestry. He witnesses the circle of life, observing birth, death, and the cyclical nature of existence. In the quiet solitude of the wilderness, he becomes intimately connected with the interconnectedness of all life forms, recognizing his place within the grand web of creation. This realization fosters a sense of responsibility and stewardship, compelling him to tread lightly upon the earth and to honor the delicate balance of ecosystems. In the heart of nature, Brian discovers a sanctuary that nurtures his spirit and ignites his soul. He finds solace amidst the towering trees, the crystal-clear lakes, and the symphony of sounds that serenade his senses. It is within these moments of communion that he experiences a profound sense of belonging, a deep resonance with the inherent beauty and wisdom that permeates every aspect of the natural world. The wilderness also becomes a teacher, imparting invaluable lessons that transcend the boundaries of the physical realm. It teaches Brian the art of patience, as he waits for the fish to bite or for the storm to pass. It teaches him resilience, as he witnesses the unyielding spirit of the trees, bending but not breaking in the face of fierce winds. It teaches him humility, as he realizes his smallness in the vast expanse of the wilderness and the interconnectedness of all life. Through the lens of Hatchet, we are invited to reflect upon our own relationship with nature. It prompts us to pause and marvel at the awe-inspiring beauty that surrounds us, to rekindle our connection with the natural world that sustains and nurtures us. It reminds us of the delicate balance that must be upheld, as we tread upon the earth with reverence and seek to preserve its splendor for future generations. Moreover, the essence of nature in Hatchet serves as a metaphor for the human condition. It mirrors the complexities, challenges, and wonders of our own lives. The wilderness becomes a canvas upon which Brian's internal struggles and triumphs are reflected. It becomes a mirror that invites us to confront our own fears, to embrace our vulnerabilities, and to discover the wellspring of strength that resides within. In the depths of the wilderness, we find a sanctuary for introspection and self-discovery. We are reminded that the natural world can serve as a teacher, offering profound insights and lessons that resonate with our own journeys. It reminds us that the answers we seek are often found in the quiet whispers of nature, in the rustling leaves, the babbling brooks, and the song of birds. As we traverse the landscapes of our own lives, Hatchet implores us to cultivate a deep reverence for nature and to recognize our interconnectedness with the web of life. It encourages us to nurture our relationship with the natural world, to seek solace and inspiration amidst its embrace, and to find wisdom and guidance in its timeless beauty. In the end, Hatchet reminds us that the essence of nature is not simply an external force to be conquered or subdued, but a profound reflection of our own humanity. It urges us to embrace the wildness within, to reconnect with the rhythms of the earth, and to embark on a journey of self-discovery that aligns our spirits with the sacred dance of existence. Through the pages of this remarkable tale, we are reminded that in the wilderness of our own lives, nature beckons us to rediscover our true essence and find our place in the grand tapestry of life. The Power of Inner Transformation Hatchet, by Gary Paulson is not merely a story of survival and the resilience of the human spirit, but a profound exploration of the transformative power of inner growth and self-discovery. Within the pages of this remarkable tale, we witness the evolution of Brian Robeson, 
as he undergoes a profound metamorphosis that transcends the physical challenges he faces. At the heart of Brian's transformation lies the journey of self-discovery. Stripped of the comforts and distractions of modern life, he is forced to confront his own fears, insecurities, and limitations. In the solitude of the wilderness, he embarks on an inward expedition, delving into the depths of his own psyche, unraveling the layers of his identity, and unearthing hidden reservoirs of strength and resilience. As Brian navigates the treacherous terrain of survival, he also grapples with the inner landscape of his emotions. He experiences the depths of despair, the sting of loneliness, and the overwhelming weight of uncertainty. Yet, within these trials, he discovers the profound capacity for emotional resilience and the transformative power of embracing and processing his feelings. Through his journey, we learn that true strength is not found in suppressing emotions, but in acknowledging, accepting, and harnessing them as catalysts for growth and healing. One of the most significant aspects of Brian's transformation is his deepening connection with the natural world. As he immerses himself in the wilderness, he becomes attuned to the subtleties of nature, forging a profound bond with the elements, the creatures, and the cycles of life. He learns to listen to the whispers of the wind, to read the language of the animals, and to draw wisdom and guidance from the rhythms of the earth. In this symbiotic relationship, he discovers a profound sense of belonging, finding solace and inspiration in the interconnectedness of all living beings. Through his experiences, Brian develops a heightened sense of awareness and mindfulness. Every moment in the wilderness becomes an opportunity for observation, reflection, and learning. He becomes acutely attuned to his surroundings, sharpening his senses and honing his intuition. This heightened awareness not only aids him in the quest for survival but also facilitates a deeper understanding of himself and the world around him. It is through this profound presence and attunement that Brian unlocks the gateways to his own inner wisdom and discovers the transformative power of living in the present moment. As Brian's journey progresses, he encounters moments of profound solitude, where he is confronted with the depths of his own being. In these moments of introspection, he confronts his fears, reflects on his past, and envisions his future. He learns to embrace solitude as a companion, recognizing its capacity to foster self-reflection, inner growth, and a deeper connection with his own essence. In the stillness of his own presence, he discovers a wellspring of resilience, creativity, and resilience that propels him forward on his journey. Another pivotal aspect of Brian's transformation lies in his shifting perspective on what truly matters in life. Stripped of material possessions and societal expectations, he gains a profound appreciation for the simple joys and essentials that sustain his existence. He discovers the profound beauty in the sunrise, the taste of fresh water, the warmth of a fire, and the companionship of the natural world. In this newfound perspective, he recognizes the richness and abundance that lies in the present moment, and the futility of striving for superficial desires. He learns that true fulfillment stems not from external acquisitions, but from the cultivation of inner peace, gratitude, and contentment. In the tapestry of Hatchet, Brian's transformation serves as a metaphor for the limitless potential for growth and self-discovery that resides within each of us. It reminds us that even in the face of adversity, we have the capacity to evolve, adapt, and thrive. Through Brian's journey, we are inspired to embark on our own quests for self-discovery, to embrace the wilderness within, and to unlock the depths of our own inner landscapes. It is through this process of inner transformation that we can transcend our limitations, cultivate resilience, and uncover the boundless reservoirs of strength and wisdom that lie dormant within us. In conclusion, Hatchet not only showcases the power of the human spirit to overcome physical challenges but also delves into the profound depths of inner transformation and self-discovery. Through Brian's journey, we are reminded that the wilderness of our own lives can be a catalyst for growth, resilience, and profound inner change. It encourages us to embark on our own journeys of self-discovery, to confront our fears, to embrace solitude and mindfulness, 
and to cultivate a deep reverence for the interconnectedness of all life. Ultimately, Hatchet serves as a powerful reminder that within the crucible of adversity, lies the transformative power to forge a new path and emerge as our truest selves. In the depths of Gary Paulson's Hatchet, we find a profound testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the transformative power of survival, and the eternal wisdom of the natural world. Through the gripping journey of Brian Robeson, we are immersed in a tale that transcends the boundaries of a simple survival story, reaching deep into the recesses of our souls and beckoning us to contemplate the profound truths that lie within. At its core, Hatchet is a testament to the indomitable will of the human spirit. It showcases the unwavering strength that resides within each of us, urging us to tap into our innate resilience, adaptability, and perseverance. Brian's journey through the wilderness becomes a mirror for our own lives, reminding us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, we possess the capacity to rise above our circumstances, to shed the limitations that bind us, and to forge a new path forward. Amidst the challenges of survival, Hatchet imparts profound lessons that extend far beyond the realm of wilderness. It teaches us the significance of adaptability, urging us to embrace change, to be open to new experiences, and to evolve as circumstances demand. It underscores the importance of self-reliance, reminding us to trust in our own abilities, to cultivate resilience, and to find empowerment within ourselves. It encourages thoughtful deliberation, striking a delicate balance between risk and caution, and teaching us the profound impact of our choices. It instills within us the spirit of perseverance, reminding us that setbacks and failures are not roadblocks, but stepping stones to success. And it underscores the transformative power of solitude, inviting us to disconnect from the noise of the world, to seek introspection, and to embark on a journey of self-discovery. Moreover, Hatchet invites us to deepen our relationship with the natural world, to recognize our interconnectedness with the web of life, and to honor our role as stewards of the earth. It immerses us in the profound beauty of nature, reminding us of the fragility of ecosystems and the importance of preserving the delicate balance that sustains all living beings. Through Brian's connection with the wilderness, we are urged to cultivate reverence for the earth, to listen to its whispers, and to recognize the profound wisdom that resides in its every breath. But beyond its practical teachings, Hatchet delves into the depths of our own humanity. It explores the transformative power of inner growth, self-discovery, and emotional resilience. Through Brian's journey, we witness the evolution of his character, as he confronts his fears, embraces solitude, and uncovers hidden reservoirs of strength. It prompts us to embark on our own quests for self-discovery, to confront our own inner demons, and to harness the transformative power of introspection, mindfulness, and emotional authenticity. In the end, Hatchet is a masterpiece that transcends the confines of its pages. It invites us to reflect on the deeper truths of our existence, to recognize our capacity for resilience and growth, and to honor the interconnectedness of all life. It reminds us that within the wilderness of our own lives lies the potential for profound transformation, if only we have the courage to embark on the journey. It challenges us to shed the limitations that bind us, to embrace change, and to forge our own path of self-discovery and enlightenment. As we close the book on Brian's harrowing adventure, let us carry the lessons of Hatchet in our hearts. Let us embrace our inner strength, cultivate resilience, and adapt to the ever-changing landscapes of our lives. Let us honor the natural world and recognize our role as custodians of its beauty. And above all, let us embark on our own journeys of self-discovery, peeling back the layers of our being, and uncovering the boundless depths of our truest selves. In the tapestry of Hatchet, we find not only a story of survival, but a profound invitation to embrace the wilderness within and emerge as the fullest expression of our humanity.